hello students now we will see a simple example program on structures so i have already written a program here so we will see so first one is struct to student so now i have declared a struct to student because so here struct is my keyword struct is my keyword for declaring structure and student is my tag name student is my tag name to declare my structure so okay next i taken my structure members as student name stud underscore name of 30 so why did i taken student name of 30 because uh, here student name is a string so that's the reason so every string has to be declared as a array of character array of character next i have declared int roll number so i have declared another member called roll number here I have declared another member called float percentage. So here, see, this is which type of definition? Tell me what is the what is the type of def definition of uh, student? Uh, this is a structure variable, structure variable type of declaration because here only I have declared my variable. Here only I have declared my variable. That's the reason. So I have written here while defining a structure. I have defined this. This is a finding a structure variable here only. Structure variable. This type of definition is called as structure definition is called as structure variable definition okay i'll show uh, tagged structure also in the next way okay so next i've taken void main so instead of taking int main i've taken here void main so struct to student struct to student is my data type why why i've taken a struct to student uh, so here i've taken one variable stud of one and here i've taken stud of one and here i've taken st student std of two so because this is one student so to to you show that this is one type of declaration is another type of declaration i have taken this type of declaration this type of declaration this is structure variable declaration this is and this is tagged structure declaration tagged structure declaration tag structure declaration will be like this so i have defining so i have only declared sorry it is not defining it is declared i have declared my structure member structure variables here as well as structure variables here so next so how many variables have created stud1 and stud2 two variables of student have created by using a stuck to student data of uh, student uh, uh, structure student structure okay next i'm asking printf enter the details of stud1 stud1 what are the details stud1 will have so if i'm taking stud1 so when i have declared a structure student stud2 and stud1 here how many variables are created stud1 and stud2 so stud1 will have a student name rule number percentage and likewise std stud2 will, have, will also have a student name rule number and percentage so we have to access the std student name std rule number std percentage and std1 of rule number std1 of percentage same wise likewise std2 will also will have std name rule number and percentage so we have to read the values into std1 uh, data members and read the values into std2 uh, student values and as well as we have to print them so how to access the particular variables particular variable values by using a dot operators we'll see that so what's what is that first time i'm seeing here so what is what is that i've done enter details of a student one so i've asked to enter the details of a student one so printf name i'm asking first so to tell the users that i'm asking a name that's the reason i've given name so scan a percentile is what does that mean what is the percentile is type square type specifier percentile is a type specifier to read the string type of data to read the string type of data i've given a percentile is percentile is stud1 dot std dot std name so that is so likewise as i said when i've when i've given a std1 variable std1 will have std1 will have student name rule number percentage likewise so first one i'm accessing student name so std std1 dot name and same so std1 dot name std1 dot rule number std1 dot percentage i'm uh, accessing so three variables what are the variable first variable std1 dot student name std1 dot roll number std1 dot percentage i'm ask, accessing by one by one first first one percentile is because it is a string next one is percentile it is because it is a integer variable first one is percentile f 
it is because float value so next after that i have taken enter details of first one so i am printing the details of student one the student one details are name of the student percentile s so stud1 and dot stud name roll number of the student is percentile i that is i have to print the value also for the reason, for the reason i have taken percentile i the percentile i is i can write percentile i as well as percentile d both are them uh, which type of data to be to read percentile d and percentile i are the integer type specifiers so that's the reason i have given percentile i the percentile i slash and student stud1 dot roll number i'm printing student first roll number student as uh, likewise first student percentage we'll see this execute while well, execute this and I'll, I'll show you so it will ask the student one details and it will print the student one details so compile i'm compiling this yes yes it is successfully compiled so we'll go and run it we'll see what is the output we'll get it okay run so i'm running it so it is asking to enter the name so name i'm entering shiva okay so it is asking to enter the roll number 201 and percentage 78.5 Five six. So we'll see, sir. The student one details are name of the student Shiva. Roll number uh, of the student is two zero one. Percentage of student is seventy eight point eight five five nine nine. It is giving so value. Okay, that's okay. So now I'll try to write a program to read a student two details and print a student two details in one line. So have here I've read so one by one, one by one variables. But I'll read. I'll read a student de two details, student two details in one line. We'll see. So how we to paste? So scan it. Percentile D. So first one percentile S. Next percentile D. Next one percentile F. Comma. S T U D underscore two dot. So first one is name. S T U D name. Sorry. Okay. So Next, comma, uh, S T ampersand, S T U D underscore two dot roll number. Because which one first time I've given percentile S, that's the reason I've given name. So next I've taken the percentile D, that's the reason I've taken a roll number. Next, comma, ampersand, S T U D, S T U D underscore two dot dot percentage so i have taken the three variables i have read the three variables now so i'll print the three three variables again the same format what else same format i've taken so you can print how you want that you can read so this is a simple way to print that's the reason i'm taking that the so here i'm writing a percentile two details and percentile s student two dot name next student two dot and student Two dot percentage. See here, I didn't give ampersand here for this stdu dot student name because string will not have a ampersand symbol in the scanner. Remember that string will have a not have a ampersand symbol in the string. When we are taking string, we don't have a ampersand symbol in the scanner statement. Okay, so we have done it. So we'll see again. We'll execute it and compile. We'll compile it and I'm saving this. So okay, done, done. Any any errors? So open as include SQL data. Okay, next. Done. Student two details. Student one details. So already it is there. So save. So execute. Compile. Yes, it is successfully compiled. Run. First one. It is asking to enter the details of student one. So what is the student one? Uh, I'll give Kumar. And the roll number is two zero four, and percentage is sixty seven point eight seven. Okay, so it is printed values. Again, I have to take enter the details of student one. Here it is giving a name, roll number, and percentage. But here it is not giving because I didn't give. I everything I have given in one statement. That's the reason it is not giving the name. Enter the name likewise. So as you wish. How you want to customize your reading and printing, you can customize. But you have to access how to access the structure number just by using a dot operator. So remember that just by using a dot operator, you can access all the structure members, all the structure members with a variable name. Variable name dot structure member. Variable date. Variable name dot structure member. Variable name dot structure member. So here I am entering a second student name. 
anjali okay so uh, rule number next i have to enter rule number 3 and i'm entering a percentage 98.30 enter so it is giving so student two details name of the student is anjali rule number is uh nirambal of student is 203 percentage of student is 9 98.3230 so it is giving so last y okay this is the example for reading elements the reading values into the structure members and printing values onto the structure members so you can also make uh values you can assign a values here itself by uh, how you how you can assign the values here itself so just by assigning it is equal to is equal to so structure member here we are assigning structure values first one what is the first one it is a name that's the name i'm giving shiva kama shiva kama next uh rule number 62 rule number 63 or 62 comma 9 uh, 56.78 is a percentage i'm closing here c so yeah so same equal so then so i've given the details student to there only no need to again read the values here so i'm taking out of this uh, statement so we'll see what is the output we'll get okay so control s compile run so here it is asking to enter the student one details because i have didn't given student one details but i have given student two details there only that is statically they have given have given so what is the value so first name i am giving the ttr something i am giving so roll number something so next so here student one details it is given student one details here name of the student ttr you roll number is 234 percentage 67.00 but here also it is given student two details name of the student is shiva and roll number is student is 63 and percentage 66.7793 so you can access the members if you want to assign the values here itself statically you can assign the values here itself this is statical way of assigning the values if you want to read dynamically from the output screen how to read the dynamically output screen by using a dot operator variable name dot operator variable name dot operator how many number of variables you have created that many variable names you have to write and with the dot operator so to dot operator this is a simple example to read a structure variable and print a structure structure member variable okay we are next we'll see uh operate operations on structure so what is the operations can be done performed on the structure okay so see any operation that can be performed on ordinary variables can also be performed on the structures what the operations can be done see if at all the variables of one value can be copied to the values of one variable can be copied to another variable so see here so a equal to b copy to b value into a so that is b values will be copied to a so now if you want to copy each variable also each variable member also i can copy a dot average is equal to b dot average so b dot average value will be saved into a dot average but it is possible only so see here remember a equal to b this is a equal to b is possible whenever the both variables are of same structure member both variables are of same structure member see structure members that means stuck to student members a and b are which type of uh, structure stuck to student type of member that the reason i can only value assign a value of b to a whenever only both variables of a and b are of same structure same structure definition same structure definition only i can copy the values until unless i cannot copy the values and same here a dot average is also is equal to b dot this also can be done whenever both structure both structure members are same both structure definition is same that means both structure definition means the values inside the members inside the structure are same if the member members inside the structure are same only that in that case only i can equal values one value to another value that means assign one value to another value so we cannot copy the variables of different structures here i have given so this is this is structure student 1 this is structure student 2 so i cannot copy a equal to b and c equal to b so a equal to c and b equal to d i cannot do that so the copy of operation can be done that is assigning of values of one variable to another variable can be done only the structures of same variables same type of structure so the variables of same structure only can be done so until unless they are belongs to same structure so same i give an example how to copy and everything so str2 str2 so 
this is the str cpy is the function to copy str cpy is the function to copy um, as one string to another string that is str1 is copying to str2 so this is normal copying so okay next comparison of two structure variables comparison of two structure variables or numbers how to compare two structure variables so this is how so s1 dot s1 dot member 1 is equal to equal to s1 dot member 2 i can compare that is if at all the both values are equal or not how can i how i can access how can i check that how can i check that variable values of s1 to s2 right so s1 where s1 is the variable value of variable of a uh, same structure and s2 should be also same structure that is so s1 s2 are the s1 s2 are the uh, same structure do these two are the same structure okay so i can also compare two variables if at all if i am using a normal variable so nothing so i have to access the values by using dot operator that will become same values that so i can uh, i can do any operation that can be done and arithmetic operations are normal operations that can be done by using a dot operator that's it okay arithmetic operations are structure that means addition increment increment decrement also i can do by using a dot operator e dot salary so that i increment the salary values so plus plus e so e dot salary plus plus e dot my increments one value to salary e, e dot salary plus plus that is also same i can increment the values so that is so operation that can be done on a arithmetic operator next nested structures nested structure what do you mean by nested structure structure inside a structure is called as nested structure if at all if i am accessing a value of one structure to another structure that is called as nested structure see here i have taken a structure i have taken a structure tag name 1 so here remember this is structure of tag name 1 so i have declared all the members and i have taken all the members inside it so after again after that I I have taken another structure of struct tag 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 name two, tag name two, and another member normal member type one, member normal type type Again here I'm, I'm taking another variable. What is the where is the member? This is the member struct tag struct tag name becomes a data type. Yes, struct tag name becomes a type, and where one is the variable for this structure first structure. That's the reason. So that is the structure I have accessed this structure inside this structure by using a variable. Instead of using a variable, this is called as nested structure. Structure inside structure is called as nested structure. How to access that nested structure? Dot of dot. So variable. So structure tag name of where. If you want to access this variable, so where one dot, where two, and so on. So we'll I'll explain the example detailly. See here. Here structure data. So in the data I have a day, month, year. So data day, month, year. This is one structure. This is one structure. Remember, one structure can have same type of data or different type of data, but type is different. Yes or no? So data, so day, month, and year. So these are the three variable numbers are there you know, for the data. So where structure data is the one type of data. So whereas again another structure, I am taking another structure, struct to student. In that I am taking care name, roll number, structure data, DOB, int marks, and float average here. So I am taking struct struct data of DOB data of DOB data struct data up to here it is data type. Likewise, how int is there? Struct data is a data type. For which type of structure? This type of data struct data of type of structure. And DOB is a variable name. DOB is a variable name. I have taken here. So that means the DOB is a variable which belongs to the which structure? This structure. That means I have declared structure inside a structure. This is called as nested structure how to access the values s1 dot dob dot day so if i want to access these variable values by using this data uh, this variable so i can how, how i can access this by using double dot s1 dot dob dot da s1 dot dob dot month s1 dot dob dot year so that is so 10 bytes 2 bytes so same so integers are 2 bytes dob will have a day will have a 2 bytes month will have a 2 bytes year will have a 2 bytes which is because integer type these are integer type that's the reason so i've given two bytes two bytes if at all it is uh, 64 bit or 32 bit it will be four bytes four bytes four bytes okay so marks as float marks of six so here so because marks into mark of three so array of three but so two into three is six bytes so if at all if it is 32 bit architecture it is uh, four into three 12 bytes and here so four four bytes that is float so here is taken this float that's the average this is average it is not year this uh, mistake it is given so now we can nest two structure by using the following syntax how can i nest i am taking all the values that is so i'm bringing all the structure bringing all the structure and keeping here in the dob date 
so that is that becomes a structure inside of structure also so that is care name into roll number struct data and into day into month and into year so all the variables of this data kept here in this uh, instead of the structure i can do this also this is which type of definition this is structure variable type of definition this is which type of de definition this is this is tagged structure definition so tagged structure definition okay this is how nesting of structure can be done so i'll show you a simple example program i'll write i'll also explain next thing okay now so i'm writing a structure so ash include stdio.h and int main so here remember uh, you can declare your structure definition before the main or after main if you declare before main it becomes a uh, global declarized and it will be applicable if at all if you have another function so that for that also that uh, function definition will be applicable that the reason and that is the best practice to define your structure definition before the main so that's the reason i'm defining my structure structure student and it love int role number i'm taking role only role remember that so name i'm taking sorry char name of 30 so that is this is a character array okay next float avg so this is normal way of declaring your structure okay normal tagged structure if you want to declare structure inside of structure next structure how it can be done how it can be done so before this i am declaring another structure so without without before declaring uh, defining your structure you cannot uh, add uh, add that values into this structure because first you have to define that structure which structure you want to nested that structure into this so that's the reason i am before only define it you should define before only when you define when you are adding that variable here okay so i'm defining structure dbob in d char month i'm giving month as character so i'll give 10 and int year so this is my another structure so what is the variable i've created for this didn't create any variable i want to access the structure By using any uh, structured DBOB, okay. So I'll add that here. So student data birth. So here. So what is the data type I have to declare here? Struct. 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 DBOB because I've given a tag name struct DBOB. Struct DBOB becomes a data type. And what is the variable name to create for that? So I'm giving day one. So, or else you can give anything D1 or D2, you wish. Now, what is the variable name here for this uh, DOB? D1 is the variable name, and struct DOB is the data type for this D1. Okay, next. So, here I'm declaring the structure here. Struct which structure I'm declaring? Student structure. Student struct student S1. So I have declared a struct student s1. Now I have to read the values into struct student s1. Print f. Enter the values into values of student. Not that values of student. How we want to uh, write? You can write. This is a customized message to tell user that you want you will enter the values. That's it. If you want to tell one by one what is the value to enter, also you can also give print enter the uh, roll number, print enter the uh, name, print enter the flow average. You can give, so you can also give. If you give that, the user will understand. Okay, so I have to enter now name, I have to enter the roll number, I have to enter the DOB. So that's best practice. So that is the best practice program. First, you have to enter roll number, roll number of which type percentile D. So because it is an integer type, one percent. So how to access the variable? So which way with which variable I would access S one dot roll, S one dot roll. So next, so print enter name 
tan x percentile x comma no no ampersand because in string in scanf statement we only did give ampersand for this scanf it's x1 dot name okay x1 dot name i've did the x1 dot name next print it enter a v g you shall you want to give your user you can give that way okay scan f percentile f because it is a float type percentile f am present s1 dot a v g what is that s1 dot a v g next now i have to ask enter the print f your data but print f enter date of birth in which format so give in what is which format you have to enter okay so first day next month and year so you can as a wish you can how you want to mention you can mention it so but i'm mentioning like this okay so scan f so here comes the nested for loop scan f so first one is percentile d date next percentile s month percentile f sorry percentile d is a year okay so ampersand ampersand this is a percentile d. that's the reason ampersand i have given s1 dot dob dot d1 so d1 dot next what i have to access day first one is day okay next comma s1 dot dob dot dot what is that month at enter month next comma ampersand s1 dot dob dot and dot which one i have to enter year so here i have to enter okay so i have read the values so now i have to print them under the screen so print f the details are what what i'm going to what i'm explain to you i'm explaining you how to access a nested structure that's it okay nested structure so here print f the name of student you can write how you want to send it name is equal to name i'm writing name how to print a name percentile s okay percentile s so next next it has to print in a slash and that's the reason i'm giving slash and so how to print this s1 dot name next next I'll print number. Total number is what percentile D S one dot print F D O B first D O B I'll print D O B is. percentile d space percentile s percentile d so in that way i have to print it so the comma s1 dot dob dot so first one day comma s1 dot dob dot month and comma s1 dot dob dot year okay so now i've done so here i printed so next so if you want to print average you can also print average print it the avg is equal to percentile f slash n comma s1 dot avg okay so my everything is done so return zero so because i have given integer type so save so i am saving in somewhere structure two 
it is of type C. I have to change it is to C. Save. So now I'll execute it. So it's compile. Yes, it is successfully compiled. Run. So enter the values of the student. First rule number. It is asking to enter the rule number. 502. So name Shiva. Average 56.67 something. So enter the date of birth. Is asking to enter the date of birth. So I'm entering the date of birth. So 23 e September 1996. Okay. So how it is giving see the details are the name of the name is Shiva. Roll number is 502. DOB is 23 September. 1996 the average is equal to 56.9998 yes we have got this the nested for loop we have done so at the same way as told you can also declare here only the everything can be done everything can bring here and keep here only how it can be done copy so instead of dob everything you write what you write is so copy paste here copy paste here so this is structure inside of this so no need to give semicolon here so here the same variable have created see we'll see it will be worked or not so save compile run so same rule number 301 so so kavya average 34.56 something data but so 04 uh, AUG 90 sorry 1987 okay so details are printed okay this is the how to take this is the another way of so here I'm telling user to day month year so the like that year has entered so that's the reason I've given that okay I think it is clear uh, clarified your doubt this is nested structure structure inside a structure is called as nested structure we will see next concept what is the next concept we have here it is if i declare array inside a structure is called as array within the structure so because i'm taking multiple variables multiple members inside a structure that becomes a array within the structure array within the structure if i take if i declare if i declare variables as a array that is structure variables as array it makes as array of variables array of variables that is also i'll show you so here here for the same example we'll see it okay so if at all if we want to access the here so i want to add marks so int marks of a student so how many marks will be there for student either three marks or three subject marks four subject marks or five subject marks that means i have to take multiple marks values that means I have taken six types of marks. This is array within the structure. Array within the structure. This becomes a array within the structure. So this is so if at all if I want to access the array within the structure, that is same thing I have to do s1 dot marks. So this is array. So how to make an array? How to read an array value? See, we'll see that. So I'm removing this uh, data birth. So this is printf. Enter six subject marks. So he has to enter six subject marks. That means the loop has to be iterated for six times. So scan of statement has to be iterated for how many times? Six times. Six subject marks is six times. So that's the reason for to iterating how we have done for i equal to zero. So that is i equal to zero. I less than how many times? Six times it has to be repeated. I plus plus. Next is scan f scan f percentile d percentile d comma s1 dot s1 dot marks of a so how many times it will be repeated six times how many times i value is there that many times it will be repeated here i have to declare i i okay next i have to declare anything i have to declare so marks six subject marks so i equal to 0 i less than 6 i plus plus it will be reading the i values here i am not printing the dob i will print the so then tell me how to print the mark 6 subject marks uh, 
again so print to print also print f so subject percentile d marks is equal to percentile d so so here yeah, subject 1 subject 2 likewise it has to print it so first i plus 1 comma s1 dot s1 dot marks of i so but this should be kept in the for you for i zero i less than 6 i plus plus okay so say so we will see this say say compile it yes it is successfully compiled and we also execute it so compile run so i am entering the details see what are the details i'll enter see so now so what is this program to read subject marks of a student okay so first i'm entering the rule number 201 and the name shiva and the average may be 28.534 so just only for the knowing purpose i have given average but after calculating six subject marks average will get average but for the time being i am entering the marks okay so enter six subject marks so is asking to enter the six subject marks 23 and 45 and 67 89 34 and 23 so we have got the output what are the output i have got so the name of is shiva roll number is 201 the average is 28.299 and the subject 1 marks is equal to 24 subject 2 marks is equal to 35 subject 3 marks is equal to 67 subject 4 marks is equal to why did i get in the single line so i didn't give a slash and in the my print up statement i'll give the slash and i'll execute that program and see so i'm giving a slash and so where to give a slash and So in the printing, so where is the printing is there? There. So I'm giving a slash and here. So after every subject, it has to show. Okay. Save and again compile. I've got no errors. Compile, run. So I'm I'm executing this program. So I'm entering the values. Roll number. Let's take two zero one. The name of the Shiva and average fifty six point six seven. So actually, average I'll we'll get average after calculating six subject addition. But for the time being, I've taken the average as a one of the variable. That's the reason I'm taking that value. So okay. So in the coming example, you try with that where so add the six subject marks and calculate the average of the student. Okay. You print the average by calculating the subject six subject marks. Okay. So third forty five, sixty seven, eighty nine, thirty four, and sixty seven. 90 so i've got the marks what are the marks the details are the name is shiva roll number is 201 the average is 56.669898 the subject one marks is 45 subject two marks is 67 subject six marks is 89 subject five marks are 67 subject six marks are 90 so likewise so i've taken the array inside a structure array inside a structure then how to create array of a structure how to create array of structure So in that case, what I have to do is to create the structure variables as an array, as an array. For example, if I, if I have S1, S2, S3, S4, and so on, likewise, 60, 60, 60 students. So how I can do that? I cannot write all the variables here. For that, uh, what I have to do? I have to declare a sum size 30 of students. Type for timing, I am taking 30 students and declaring that. I will access that values by using another variable. Okay. So for I and also I'm declaring another variable J. So I'll take these all these variables in the for loop and I'll ask to enter the details of student one by student two, student three, likewise. So I'll take n is my size of array student numbers. So what are the how many number of students to be taken? So that students I'm going to check. Okay, the details the student one details percentile d details are. I will see that what is that and everything in that. So first for that to reading also I have to read loop wise for that for 
j equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus. But before that, I have to know what is the n value. So for that, printf enter number of students, number of students, okay. So it will take a number of students. Now I have to read that value. Can it percentile D ampersand n? So I have read the number of students. After that, j equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus, open brace, and I am reading all the students rule number wise, rule number wise, rule number wise. But here I have to take s of j because not only a one variable, it is an array of variables. That's the reason I have to take s of i, s of j, s of j, s of j becomes whenever j value 0, first, first variable, j value 2, j value 1, the second variable, j value 2, third variable. Likewise, it goes on increments number of based upon n value, based upon n value, okay. This is how to read students array of students, okay. So, now I have read it. So, now I have to print the values. Again, how to print the values? Again, to print the values also, I have to print, I have to take a for loop. Yes, for j equal to 0, j less than n, j plus plus, open brace. So here, it is not i, it is j. Because i is already used for another variable. Okay. S of j, s of j. S of J. Okay, so this is I. S of J. Okay, you can take I, you can swap it how you want that. Okay, save it and compile and run it. So enter the number of students. I am taking only two students for time being, it takes much time. So enter the values of student. So enter the rule numbers. I am taking 001 for first student. Enter the name. So, Kumar and average is 56.78 and 6 subject names 23, 45, 67, 89, 12, 45, 60. So, so enter the students values of next one. Next student is asking. So, is asking next student. So, next student rule number may be 203. Okay. So, rule number enter the name. Enter the name and given. So, Kalpana, okay, average is 617.44. So, next enter six subject marks. Something, I'm entering. Here, I got the details. The students of first details are, student one details are, the name is Kumar, roll number is 201, and the average is 56.77, the marks I've entered, and the student two details are likewise. So I got the all the details of the how many number of students I take that many students I will give. So what is what I am doing is before in the first case, in the first case, this is array of structure, array inside a structure, it is array of structure. What is the difference? If I am declaring a member as array value, that it becomes array inside a structure. If I declare a structure variable as this uh, array, structure variable as array, it becomes an array of structure. Okay, that is the difference between array within a structure, array of structure. Okay, that is. So, um, by, by this, I am thinking that you have understood the concept and we will meet with the another part. Okay, thank you. Bye. Take care. Keep smiling.